There is rain in the area, but we've been given the go-ahead to get this one started. Today, a matchup of a pair of first-place teams between the Tampa Bay Rays and the Oakland A's. The Rays attempt to break out the brooms in this three-game series right after this. Number 40 is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the A's. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, Matt, this is one of the game's all-time best pitchers. Over 300 career wins, and he's been doing his thing for a long time. It'll be interesting to see if he can continue that solid work in this one today, Matt. Now at the plate, George Velez, and we are ready for some Leading daytime the baseball. For Tampa Bay, the center fielder, number 54. The pitch. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. And Dan Dero, these A's as they begin play here this afternoon. They come in not exactly setting the world on fire as they've dropped five of their last eight ball games. Yeah, Matt, things haven't gone too well so far in this series, Dero. They're looking to avoid the sweep here in this one. Yeah, get, they got to get off in the early innings. It's, it's going to be monumental if they can push a few runs across and give this pitcher a chance to relax. Well, clearly this guy doesn't need many warm-up pitches because he's 98 miles an hour in the first inning. News flash to the offense. They better get it going. That misses, says the home plate umpire. One and two. Where it misses, I'm not quite sure. The one-two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Another one two delivery. On the changeup is taken for a called third strike, and the leadoff man is gone to begin the ball game. Time now for a look at the Rays starting nine. Danny, any thoughts? Well, guys, I'm really hoping to see a turnaround from that number three hitter. Boy, he's struggling a bit right now, and you know what? His team really needs him to turn it around. I hope he's able to get out of it in this one. He's putting in a lot of extra time, so we'll see if it pays off. Stepping into the box, Trey Kraft. He's two for ten in the series given. coming into today. Trey Kraft. First pitch of the at bat. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 and 1. Well, time to look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Dave Lawrence. Yeah, Dan, we got Dave Lawrence behind the dish tonight. One of the best in the game, I think. Consistent, well respected, accurate strike zone. Uh, D. Rowe, you hit it right there. He makes you bring the ball over the plate. We'll give a little bit off the strike zone. I think the one thing that's important that he does, he has the same strike zone in the first inning. You'll see that same strike zone in the ninth. And this pitch is swung on and missed. And the AL's leading hitter is set down on strikes two away. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some damage. So when you strike both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the, the teeth of the lineup up. without a whole Joe. lot of stress. Joe. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Easy fly ball into shallow center field. Rogers is there and the side is retired. Down in order go the Rays. And the A's will get their first opportunity in a scoreless ball game. Now to the plate. Joe Veras took an 0 for 4 in the victory the last game. night. Joe Barrett. Here comes the first pitch. Aye. In there, and it's 0 and 1. Well, it's been a lopsided series so far with the Rays dominating to this point and taking aim at a series sweep here in this contest. 
One of the toughest things to do at this level is to win on the road. With the win today, this would be a sweep of a road series. Up, 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 Swing, up. and he popped him up. Over in foul territory, back behind third. And he'll put this one away for the first down of the inning. All right, guys, so here's how the Oakland A's are lining up on defense for this one. And when you focus on the numbers, this starting pitcher leads the American League in strikeouts. When I had a big punch out guy on the mound, I always tell myself I have to stay in. I have to stay engaged mentally in this one. I have to watch what the catcher's putting down. I have to go through my pre-pitch routine and stay on my toes because at any moment, that big ball could be coming your way. First pitch coming, here it is. Taken, and that one catches the bottom part of the strike zone. Into the windup, here comes the 0 1. Swing and a miss, and he's in control 0 2. Every time you go out there to start a game on the mound, you hope to settle in quickly and get into a groove, and he's definitely done that so far in the early going. Looks like he could go pretty deep into this one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch, and it's fouled away. Another 0 2 home. That was swing and a miss. He struck him out, and it's two up, two down to start the second. Oh, man, he's been absolutely getting overmatched at the plate the last couple of games. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. So clearly, this pitching staff, they figured out how to attack this guy. We'll see if he can make any adjustments. Into the box now, Ray Craven. And there you see his righty lefty splits and how they've played out so far this season. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. First pitch is a slider down low. It's 1 and 0. The 1 0 home is laid off for ball two. Over the outside half, and it's 2 and 1. You get yourself into count leverage 2-0 right there. You're looking to come unglued on something and be very aggressive. That ball had to nip the corner for him not to pull the trigger on it. The count now at 2-2. Two and two. And he fouls this one off. No score here as we play inning number two. Frozen hey. on strike three for the final out of the inning. Rays go in order one two three. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Up next for the Rays, Stephen Butler, seven, eight, nine. Bottom of the order, set to go here in the third. Butler. First pitch of the at bat on its way. In there for strike one, zero oh and one. Yeah, the rain starting to intensify here. It's coming down a little heavier now. We'll see how much longer the umpires can wait. Well, you could say that again, Matt. It's raining cats and dogs out there. Make sure you don't step in a poodle. I think it's time to get the grounds crew out. The windup and the 0 1. Yeah. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Don't just assume as a hitter right here he won't triple up. He's got you down 0-2, and he might really want to get inside your head if he throws the same pitch again. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. What, what, what? On the ground over to first. 
And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Riding into the box, Peter Munn. He'll get to take his first right cuts field. here. Peter Munn. First pitch of the at bat. Sent on the ground out to second. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Set to get his day started, Alexi Trevino. And it's been a real the struggle catcher. for him with the bat so far this year, Trevino. looking to get things turned around in a hurry. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And that's in there for strike one. Trevino, a 32 year old veteran, he's in year one of a new three year deal. I know this ain't a ton of job security, but it's certainly better than a one year deal. A two to three year deal. Put yourself in a position where you can really invest in this team. Behind 0-2 now. Third inning, no score to this point. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Rays. Home half of the third coming up, no score. Leading off the inning, George Velez, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. You know, we saw these guys around the cage during batting practice, and they told us they were going to be aggressive. I think this is getting a little ridiculous. They better watch themselves if they don't start putting balls in gaps. This guy's going to find himself in the eighth inning cruising. Behind 0-2 now. That wasn't a terrible pitch right there, but if he's going to execute and get this swing and a miss, he's going to have to get that ball a little bit further down, maybe even potentially bounce the next one. And he struck him out, so he's down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Time now for the A's road to the show report as we get a look at a couple of guys making some noise in the upper levels of the minors. Now for the raise is the D.H. Trey Craft. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Here's the 0-1 pitch. This is skied out toward right. Hooper is there. And that's the second out of the inning. Well it's still early but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season and as you can see there he's really had it going into the month of June currently leading the AL in that department. Stepping up now up Sean Jones he flew the out in his last at bat almost Matty almost went no. deep his last AB certainly just missed it with this guy's big power he's feeling pretty good at the dish look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB and that finds the target nothing in two now. No runs, no hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Rays go in order, one, two, three. They're still down, it's two nothing. Leading off the inning, Joe Veras, the and they'll need him the to get baseman. something going here. First offering on its way. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Had him out in front there as he takes strike one on the circle change.
Good slider there. Gets a swing and miss. That's a real tough pitch to hit. That's as, in the pitcher's jargon, we call that the Hall of Fame pitch. That slider down and in. Really, the only way you're going to be able to hit that pitch is if you're looking for it down and in. And still then, it's a really difficult pitch to hit. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Joe Veras becomes the first out of the inning. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Now Jesus Vila. Here comes the first pitch. And the Rays are in the hit column. In now, Ray Craven. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. The 0 1 pitch. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. Wow, there's a pitch right there that this guy would like to have back. Very rarely do you see a pitcher of this quality throw one right down the middle, and boy, he took that one. He'd like to have that one back and be able to take a good hack at that pitch. The 0-2 once more yep. is looked at for ball one. Vila, a runner at first with one gun in the inning. And he rings up another one, make it nine strikeouts for him in the game. A look at our line score here through the first four, and as we've mentioned, just one hit for these guys this afternoon. At the plate, Stephen Butler. He got on top of one and was a ground down victim last time. Stephen. First pitch coming. Here it is. Here's a cold strike about thigh high. Nothing in one. Just behind the fastball there. Two strikes now. Hey, this guy is one strike away from absolutely cruising through the first five innings. No need to even warm up the bull. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Ray's strand just the one. They trail it here two to nothing. At the plate, Peter Mund. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The right fielder. Peter Mund. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hit out towards second. Rogers is right there. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. So the shutout still intact here in the sixth as we check out the league leaderboard for Team ERA. And you can see that this staff currently leads the AL in that category. Stepping up to the plate, Alexi Trevino. The catcher, number nine. Alexi. Ready with the first pitch. Trevino. Here it comes. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. The difference between 0-1 and 1-0 is so monumental, and this guy has been on top of his game all day, attacking the zone and getting ahead of these hitters. Ball. There's a shin-high slider laid off for a ball. A one and two count to the Rays catcher. That's three straight sliders in a row. I'd be shocked. I would be shocked if he went to that well a fourth time. I'd be looking heated. The one two. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. Hit toward the right side. And this is taken for the out. Ready 
righty once again. George Velez now batting the center fielder. Now here it comes. Four. And here's a fastball called for strike one. This offense is going to have to find a way to get going. It's happened in the past. Every team goes through it where everyone seems to fall into a funk at the same time. Everyone needs to relax and not try and be the hero and just start getting the leadoff guy on. Behind 0-2 now. No runs, just one hit, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. Down in order go the Rays. They're down two to nothing. So digging in now, Trey Craft. He'll lead it off here as we begin inning number seven. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. First pitch on its way. Swing and he pops him up, but this will land untouched. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Swung on and missed that strike two. Tying run stands on deck, but it'll only matter if the guy in the box can get on base. Yeah, and that has to be his mentality at the plate right now, Matt. He can't be the hero, so he needs to do what he can to give the guy behind him a chance to be the guy. The next 0 2. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Well, this is an approach we've seen him use effectively lately set up the inside and then get him out with pitches away. Fouled away. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two and this is swung on and missed and the American League's leading hitter is gone on strikes one away. So he's still got his shutout working here in the seventh and with that in mind we check out the league leaders in shutouts and as you can see there he currently leads the AL in that department. Standing in Sean Jones now batting. Shortstop. No. He's ready. Here's the first no. offering. And here's a ball hit in the air. Hooper giving chase, and no one will track it down. One, Sent one, on one. the ground out to second. And that's the oh. second out. Coming to the plate now, Joe Veras will swing it from the left side right here. Here's the first pitch to him. And they start him out away with a cold strike. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. So far, this has been a terrific outing for this guy. Throwing well, keeping his pitches to a minimum, locating his fastball to both sides of the plate, good command of the off-speed pitches, very little traffic on the bases. So far, he couldn't have drawn up to be any better than he has been so far in this one. Fouled off. Bases are empty here with two men out. And two and two. And it's late to his afternoon of work. And the longer this at bat goes, the better chance of him making a mistake. But as a guy starts to tire, they're more likely to leave the ball up. But man, he's been good so far. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Mm, three and two. Time to focus here. This game is way too close to be walking, guys, so we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. Now 
now a swing and a fly ball Greer in foul ground and they can't run it down. And it's fouled away. Hey this is a heck of a battle right here. Long A.B. You know what. They find themselves still facing the starter. If they would have had some A.B.s like this earlier in the game. I, I think they get into the bullpen by this time. And he's got another one. 13 strikeouts now when the inning is over. So he keeps rolling right along. Make it seven shutout innings now. It's stretch time here in Oaktown. It's the A's two. The Rays nothing. Digging in and looking for more. Jesus Vila. He's one for two in the ball game. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan of bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. There's a strike at the knees, 0 and 1. Fly ball out toward left center field. Santiago is in pursuit and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. One gone here in the eighth as we check our line score to this point. And boy, you can see the story of the game right there in the hit column. Just one hit allowed through seven and a third. He has been awfully tough to solve. So striding in, Ray Craven, hole for two with a couple of strikeouts for him so far. First delivery to him on the way. In there, strike one. One out, nobody on. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Trying to strike him out for the third time. And he fouls this one off. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. So you've got to figure he's got a good chance here to finish this one off. And with that in mind, we take a look at the league leaders in complete games. And as you can see there, he's really had it going into the month of June, currently leading the AL in that department. Into the box now, Stephen Butler. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Now here's the pitch. Hit hard on the ground to second. Rogers comes up with it. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Can't ask for much more than this. Eight shutout innings thus far. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. It's the A's two, the Rays nothing. Digging in once again, Peter Munn. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Peter. First delivery to him on the way. Down the first baseline. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. Fouled away. Number 15 for the ball game. He's just ringing up strikeouts left and right. But what's really impressive to me, he hasn't walked anyone either. He's just pounding the zone. His stuff is dirty today. The catcher, number nine. 
Into the box, Alexi Trevino. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. A ball and a strike. Is that gun reading right right there? Because that just registered at 91 miles an hour on a slider. If he's working that pitch, that's most guys' fastballs. It's going to be a long game. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Struck him out. Strikeout number 16 thus far as he's had a whale of a ball game. I'll tell you right now, this guy has a shutout going, and it's been all business. He's not messing around trying to pick at corners. He's being aggressive in the zone, and he's attacking each and every one of these hitters up to this point. Now batting, George Velez. He's batting. their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, yeah. Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. Yeah. Now a fastball for a called strike. One it's one. 1 and 1. Two out, nobody on. Line drive to left. But this is taken in as a perfect metaphor to end this one as that ball was hit hard, but the ball game is over. Hey, not many pitchers can brag about throwing a one hit complete game, so hats off for him. But as a pitcher, I know he's going to wonder, like, what might have been? So close to a no-hitter, but it wasn't meant to be? That's baseball for you. A 2-0 finish today. Oakland led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Number 40 pitches his way to a league-leading 12th win of the year as he tosses a complete game one-hitter. So that just about does it for